Hi there everyone. In this video I just want to show you some of the cool things about this Nex7 that I'm finding that I didn't even know it had. So let's just jump right in. Put something here over here to focus on. Alright, so first of all, first thing I wanted to show you was this button right here. This is the it's AF slash MF. I'm not sure how well this thing will focus on that. It's the auto focus, manual focus, and you can flip it down, and that's the auto exposure lock button. Now, by default, it's set to when you hold this down, it's set to lock the focus if it's toggled in such a way that it will lock the focus. But what you can do right here, if you go to uh, your menus and setup, if you notice right here, AEL AF MF control. You can change it from a hold it down option to a toggle option. And what I found is when I'm shooting video with this camera, I really like the toggle option. I like to lock it in. I like to set it there. So what happens is I focus on something, I'm shooting a video, and I want to lock the focus down. And you can also see that the focus peaking settings that you have Turn on. I don't know if you can see that on there, but you can see the focus peaking jump right in. You can also, if you'd rather, flip, you can flip it down. Let's point this at the light. I'm going to lock the AEL lock. And now my exposure setting is locked. And I can flip it and flip it to manual control. So now my manual focus and my exposure is locked down. And I can unlock focus. I can unlock auto exposure. So I thought that's pretty cool right there. The next button that I love is this navigation button. It's right here next to the shutter button and you can just hit it and I have mine set to start at the beginning every time or you can also have it start at the last place you were at but it gives me focus control. Hit it again. I get, um, I guess I can't be recording video. Hit it again so focus control, white balance settings, you can tweak your white balance if you want to just push it a little bit warm or maybe into the purples, maybe you're shooting a sunset and you all like where it is at auto, but just a little warmer or more magenta would be nice. You can flip your navy wheel up here to flip through them. It's just super quick and easy. Let's get back to auto. Um, You've got your dynamic range optimizer right here. I seem to be turning this on and off all the time. You can also adjust your exposure compensation here, which you can do from just about anywhere. Uh, hit it again. You've got your creative style settings. So vivid, neutral, portrait, standard, clear, whatever, you, whatever kind you want to shoot with, especially if you're shooting JPEGs or video, these are important. You can also spin these wheels down here and you can adjust the contrast, your sharpness, and your saturation. Also very important for shooting video. Okay, one other cool effect, or cool setting on this camera. Oftentimes, I'll be setting up in a studio. I've got my settings nailed down, lights are nailed down. Um, and I don't want to accidentally bump any of these twisty knobs. Well, all you do is hold down your navigation button and see it says locked. Now, I can't accidentally bump these settings. Hold it down again, unlocked. So that is absolutely fantastic in my book. Alright, so just a couple other quick things that I think are pretty nice little features of here. The more I go through this, the more thought out the interface really is. It, it just seems like they really wanted to give us control, wanted to give us choices, wanted to, you know, really let us quick through again. So, uh, another quick thing, this setup menu is pretty long. But what they did, of course you can spin the wheel down here, you can use it as a navigation. 
But you can also use these top two dials. Your left one is one at a time, but your right one will jump page by page. So you can really, if you know your menu, the way I kind of remember things in this menu is, I know format is towards the bottom of the setup menu. You can see the little indicator on the, the right side. I know my auto exposure manual control uh, toggle switches are towards the top. So, and then there's a beep and a few things that I get to that are towards the middle. So that really zips you through these menus super fast. And I think the, the setup menu is really the only giant one, but it works in every menu. So that's pretty nice. Okay, and one last thing. Um, if you choose your display button, the top button is this virtual horizon. Now lots of cameras have this these days. But this one I especially like because it's so easy to turn on and off. Just that display button just flips you through the various modes. You got a real clean display to your virtual horizon. The histogram, I love this. Live histogram for shooting HDRs. Actually, I like it for shooting a lot of stuff, video especially too. These also show up in the viewfinder. So if you probably can't see into that, but yeah, you can see a little bit there's your virtual horizon right in the viewfinder. So these same things show up right in there. So that's awesome too. Okay, and then the last last thing I wanted to look at is um, if you shoot a lot, let's just flip this to we'll flip this to continuous speed just so we can see. If you're shooting real heavy and fast, and then you want to shoot video, you have to wait till it finishes writing to shoot the video. So we'll shoot a bunch of frames right there, okay? So, and then you try and record video. You can't do it. And I'm like, well, where's the indicator? I'm used to, on the Nikon, the indicator's right around here, usually somewhere. Well, on this camera, I did actually find it. It's down here. See that red light? When uh, it's done writing to the card, that red light turns off. So, so that's it. It does have one. There it is. A little difficult to see when you're on a tripod, but it is there. So you do have a writing to card indicator light. And it's actually in a good spot if you think about it, because what you really don't want to do is pull out your memory card while it's writing. So you shoot a bunch and you think, oh, I need to switch cards or switch batteries. Oh, red light. Maybe I should hold off for just a few minutes. It's actually probably just a few seconds, depending on your card speed. And let that finish writing. And one other thing that's nice down here, see this little cutout? They did make this ready for your power cord. And that pops out somewhere. I don't actually have the power cord. But if you're going to shoot time lapse, you can pop out this little section and the cord actually runs through there. So you do have an AC power option. And I've got the time-lapse controller. I'm going to show you how that works in another video. Thanks.